is is very good. It, it's it's a big tick. It's I, I think yeah, you've removed just the right amount of wood, and what and the selection of the the wood you chose to remove is also very good. So um, that 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 is is a great result there. It is actually very hard to do a pruning demonstration when you've got lots of people looking at you and giving you advice and and it's it's hard to concentrate and 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 uh, all of that so so yeah uh, I, I think really good job Any thoughts uh, again the and I realized that it might have been my explanation was it wasn't so good but I think there's a little bit too much of a stump here, and and it would have been better to have cut that a little bit closer, as I as I had to improve the cut that I made, and the same could be said for for that one slightly, and this one here uh, again that could have been better if it was was cut closer and and at a better angle. Something else that I didn't say is that also we would try and make sure that well, one good thing about this cut is that at least it's on the angle so water will not mm. rain will not sit there we don't we don't want a flat cut because if the water sits there then it's slow to dry and more chance of being infected so the other observation is that there are some cuts that that haven't been painted uh, so they're not protected. So that would be, um, I guess, something to improve on next time. Yeah, and there's still still time to do that now. So yeah, uh, great result. All right, let's move because it is very upright. It had a lot of very crowded and close branches, uh, and also it is. It hasn't developed many spur sites, so you had a, a difficult candidate to, to work with. And, and again, I think the the overall result you've achieved is very good. I'm very happy with that. I like the way that you went up to the top and, and did some smaller cuts to, to open up the, the top gradually, canopy, canopy. open up the canopy, and um, and. It, and again, some of the bigger cuts that, that you've made lower down. So, yeah, very happy with that. I suppose, in terms of areas, room for improvement, again, um, and maybe it's my, my explanation, not so good, but, but again, I think there's a little bit too much of a, of a stump there. And, and that is more, the more stump we have, the more likely there is for fungal infection later. Don't look at it for a Uh, Jack, can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. If you just made one big cut and put the center out of that one, yes. would that have been too much? Yeah, that's a good... So Mike's saying, could have we just taken the whole center out with one single cut? Well, the answer is yes. That And that would have... We would have got rid of a whole lot of that very upright vegetative uh, wood in one fell swoop and open the tree up. So the, yeah, that 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 is a, that is an option. I think the, the 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 concern with that with an older tree is just the healing of the wound. And it's a big sink you take it away yeah. too. Isn't yeah. It? yeah. So that maybe for a if a tree was five or six years old, uh, uh, and younger wood heals faster than older wood. So that. That could be an option for a younger tree, but it, it is possibly a bit risky um, for a tree of this age. But sure, there are the, this is a very difficult situation of these close together upright branches. But but again, I think what you've done for well, year one, because really this is a is a two or three year process. We can't do it all overnight. I think um, it, it's a it's a great job. Yeah. And I think the number of cuts you've made and the, 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 num the amount of wood and the space that you've given the fruiting wood for more light and better spur development is, is great. So 
you know, I'm impressed that all three of you have achieved a, a really good outcome. I really did like the, the branch bending that you've done because I think that's an, a really important part of, of improving the productivity of this tree. It's probably the easiest tree that you had. Thank you. Um, <laughs> and we see that it is developing better spurs than, say, this one here. So, and it being looking a younger tree with more flexible wood that, that was easy to bend down. Um, you, you, but, but again, it's, a, it's all about the result that you've achieved. And I like the way that you've created the, the fork in, the, in your spreaders because they will be quite uh, good at staying in place. And, and then towards the end where you've pointed the, the, the inside, that will help to hold it into place. There's one or two of them there that just have a flat end and if there's a bit of wind, they, they might fall out. Because it normally takes um, a few weeks for the branches to become set into position during the growing season, and it takes longer in the dormant season. So uh, really, if, if they were to blow out, out, the branches might just resume their position. So, gee, you've asked me to score, and I, I, I you know, I'm thinking that, that you're, you've all scored an eight out of 10 here, but what mate, you, what no, all, all, three, all I, three, I, I, I can't three, separate three, them, three. but, Unless, unless we can do it by the, the amount of applause. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think uh, everyone gets, gets the prize here. Yeah. What's the art number of the definition of something? Some problem. <laughs> 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 <laughs>